Alrighty, orange buzz bomb. We got fish on it. Feels okay. Dig in a feet of water here. Leader, he's got it pretty close. Nice one. That's a keeper. Oh, yeah. It's probably a three pounder, eh? Look at that, guys. Orange buzz bomb. Nice burbot right there. Well, first minute with the buzz bomb down there, and we're hooked up with a burbot. Hope it's a bird, but anyways, <laughs> fighting like one. It's the first, it's sweet, it's the first eel pout of the season. <laughs> Feels like a bird, This is probably the best, like, it's first our, ice that we've ever had. One of our, one of our favorite bird spots. It's okay, it's not that big. I was gonna say it looks pretty small. Big enough. <laughs> Cause the fish, the fish, right? There. There may be a couple jigs when it hit. It's pretty freaking sweet. It's a little better now. I don't think it's a five, but it might be a. Oh, two. Might be a. There we go. The first bourbon of the season. First bourbon of the season, boys. So what I'm doing to catch these bourbon out here on the ice is I'm using a uh, two and a half inch orange buzz bomb with a gooey bob. And then I got just got on a ten pound leader there, just swivel. Anyways. And then I drop down to the bottom anywhere from 80 to 100 feet in the daytime here where I'm fishing. You know you'll hit bottom when your line stops going out. What I do once I hit bottom is I just do short jigs and on the down jig I hit bottom. So like dung, dung, dung. And then a lot of times it's right when you lift up when you have them. And this is what's been working the last few trips out here for us. Anyways, check them out guys. Been working great. Here we go. Hey Joe Outdoors and uh... We've been on suburban fishing for like five minutes today, and we've had three on. This is a Black Pine Creative 46 inch rod, and it looks it's like a really sweet looking rod, too, because it's got a piece of moose antler as the real seat. It's awesome. It's gonna be great for Lakers this winter. Oh, yeah. Decided to test our own suburban action today. And we're out here in five minutes, and what, third pout? Well, third one on. Third one on, yeah. Fish and chips. <laughs> yeah, let's go. It's gotta be a better one. How long is your leader? It's not. Oh yeah, decent. Oh my goodness, it's like a five pounder. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That's a fat eel pout right there, boys. He's and look at that. Pot. That's a beautiful spinner, man. These things work pretty darn good for these burbot, man. Use them all last winter too. One of the go-tos because there's a heavy genius. Bum 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 pound bottom. All right, anything to say? It's an awesome day. Got a like a 14 pound Laker this morning. How's the rod working? Sweet. Oh, you're jigging buzz bombs today, and we've been on here for about 10 15 minutes, and this is, I think, the sixth one. Insane. Look at that one. Nice. A little better one. Two pounder. Oh, he's a bigger one, two, three. Buzz bomb. Black pine creative rod. 46 inch. There's a beauty. Perfect combo for leakers and burbot. And the moose antler real seat. That's moose antler, yeah. And of course, got a buzz bomb and a nice eel pout. Alrighty, got another fish on here. Hopefully this one's a little bigger, eh? Oh yeah, it is. Oh yeah. He's not even, he just looked big. He had a big head. Big head, big fish. Nope. 